Many of us who live in the tropics have seen this plant before. You've probably even tried eating it, but did you actually like it? Aloha, I'm Sean Jennings with Homestead in Hawaii, and today we're going to talk about this magnificent plant, Lao Pele, or Tongan spinach, or edible hibiscus, or slippery cabbage, or whatever you want to call this thing. The name doesn't matter. I like calling it Lao Pele. That's what we call it here in Hawaii. Lao Pele is a traditional green grown throughout Polynesia. It's enjoyed by hundreds of thousands of people. And today I want to show you a little bit more about this plant so that you can enjoy it too. We're going to get into how to propagate it, plant it, and grow it as well as cook with it. Because what good is a plant that we don't know how to eat? Now one reason I like growing Lao Pele is because it's a perennial. Growing perennials is much better for the environment than growing annuals. Have you ever seen a conventional annual agriculture farm? There's barely any life and diversity. It's all been killed off in the process of tillage. Whereas a perennial system builds soil over time and encourages a diverse ecosystem complete with a variety of life forms. And Lao Pele fits right into that system. Lao Pele is super easy to propagate. If you live in the wet tropics, all you have to do is cut off a branch, remove the leaves, and stick it into the ground. If you live in a drier climate, you'd probably have to add irrigation. It's a tropical perennial green that thrives in the lowlands up to 2,000 feet in elevation, especially on the windward sides. Now it's said that this plant prefers full sun and this is living proof right here. It is out exposed to the sun all day here in Hilo, but I have a plant growing in my old place that is in full shade and doing just as well. So it tends to tolerate a variety of conditions. But because of the big green leaves, they thrive on nitrogen rich, well drained soil. And I found Lao Pele growing best near my compost piles or when I add plenty of compost to the plant. Top dress them with a little mulch and you're doing even better. Holding in that moisture is key and mulch will help with that. Now Lao Pele used to be classified as a hibiscus, but it has been switched over into the Abel Moscus family which is the same family as okra. And when it comes to pests, they're affected by the same culprits that affect okra. You got white flies, slugs, and aphids. They love Lao Pele. It's probably because Lao Pele is extremely nutritious. It's made up of 12% protein, packed full of vitamins like vitamin C, beta carotene, riboflavin. And when you cook it with coconut milk, it helps uptake those nutrients to absorb into your body. And as a medicinal, it helps with sore throats, stomach aches, vomiting, and preventing bone loss. Now, I bet you're curious about how to cook with this plant. Because after all, if you don't know how to cook with something, you probably won't want to grow it. And then you won't really be able to benefit from what Lao Pele has to offer. And that would be a real shame because we really should be growing plants that want to grow here in the tropics. And that includes this amazing plant right here. Lao Pele, because if you cook it properly, it's delicious. So let's harvest a little and take it into the kitchen. Like any green, the younger leaves are more tender, while the older ones can be a little tougher. Therefore, I tend to harvest the younger leaves with their stems, which are also edible. You could also cut off an entire branch, which would encourage new branches to form and more leaves to grow. Plus, after I harvest the leaves, I could use this branch to propagate a new plant. Whatever way you decide is up to you. So let's take these into the kitchen and wash them up. Like I said earlier, slugs tend to like these plants. And we have rat lungworm here in Hawaii. So we must make sure that the leaves are slug free. Rat lungworm is not something you want to mess with. So if you want to learn more about it, check out this video link above that explains it more in detail. After you get them all washed, Make sure you give it all a nice squeeze to get the excess water out of there. All right, with our leaves all cleaned up, now it's time to decide how we're gonna cook with it. And this is where most people get hung up because Lao Pele has a tendency to get a little bit slimy. It is in the okra family after all. And I've noticed that that sliminess completely disappears when I use Lao Pele in soups, which is one of my favorite ways to cook with Lao Pele. This is a pork minestrone. We cooked it up last night, but it needs a few more greens. Let's chop some up and add it in. While that heats up, let's make some Lao Pele Ulu fritters. This is my favorite way to eat Lao Pele right here. These fritters are delicious. And if you like access to any of these recipes, 
I've included a link down in the description below where you can get these recipes in print form. All right, Lao Pele Ulu fritters are super easy to make. You have Lao Pele leaves, some Ulu from the garden, some homegrown chives, salt from the sea, a little bit of flour, and some pepper to taste. And we're gonna start by blanching the Lao Pele leaves in boiling water, and then quickly dip them into ice cold water, squeezing the moisture out, and then chopping it all up. The ulu should be cooked as well. This ulu was steamed and frozen, meaning it's ready to mash. And once you have it all mashed, mix it in with the Lao Pele leaves. Add some chives, a little flour to hold it all together, and some salt and pepper, and you're ready to cook. I'm heating up some coconut oil here, which I showed how to make in another video. And once it's hot, you throw on the fritters. I like my fritters to be a nice golden brown. And once they reach that point, take them off the heat, put them on a paper towel lined plate to absorb the oil, slice up some avocado from the garden, and then BAM! A meal that could be 100% locally grown right here in Hawaii. Now let's check on that soup. Ah uh, yeah, looks ready. And that's it everybody, everything you need to know about Lao Pele from growing to eating. I'm gonna try some of it myself, so I'll catch you guys next week. Ahoy ho!